Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The market's going crazy once again because of this promo, Road to the Knockouts, team number two, that was dropped yesterday on Friday in FIBA 22 Ultimate Team. I want to talk about the supply that came onto the market yesterday because EA did something for the first time this FIFA, they dropped 50k packs in the store. Not lightning rounds, just 50k packs. I think it's like a limit of a couple of them per account, but that supplied the market like mad, right? I want to take a look at what that did and how that moved prices, what could be going on into the day today on Saturday, and how we can be looking at things with these brand new Road to the Knockouts Team 2 cards. So if you're enjoying the content on the channel, make sure to hit a thumbs up and of course subscribe if you're new. But let's look at this team, right? You guys have seen the team. Basically, the leaks that we looked at were basically correct. There was a lot of those leaks that we saw on Thursday night into Friday that were actually correct, which kind of kills a little bit of the hype for these cards, but some pretty nice cards were as a, were added as a part of this group. De Young, Royce, Werner got a really, really big boost going from an 85 rated to an 88. Fred's card looks pretty good. El Sharawi is nice. Amavi is a great French left back for a very bargain price. I even think that Tielemann's card with the five-star weak foot uh, looks pretty good as well. He's basically half the price of KDB, um, and it's a KDB-esque card. Not as good, but Still a pretty decent card there. So a solid team, right? And we do have the big clubs that we were expecting to see. Manchester United, Barcelona, Bayern, or sorry, not Bayern, but uh, Dortmund, Chelsea. We have those clubs, I guess, represented now with Road to the Knockout cards that we didn't have out of last week. Also, just of note, I know a lot of you guys might be wondering, this is from the EA website. They haven't actually updated the picture to show Team 2 yet. Um, but these cards will assume the basically what happened last week on match day three as a part of Champions League, Europa League, and the Conference League. Uh, these cards, basically, if you think about it, they're upgrades like Werner and the Chelsea win. That counts. So Timo Werner is on one win already. You know, uh, Manchester United and Fred, he's got one win that counts towards his total of the three win or just the qualifying boost. Th those games already apply for these cards. These are not just for the next match days going forward. It includes last week's match day. So the cards and packs... Pretty solid W, right? I feel like it's a more usable set of cards this week. It's it's solid, right? There's a lot of cards that a lot of people will just want to plug and play in their teams. As we go into the objective section, uh, we have another L of an objective, if I'm being completely honest. This Crusa objective uh, is an L, right? I think the 68 pace here is just problematic. Of course, Union Berlin, I'm not sure where they even stand uh, in the... Uh, group right now where they could if they could be going out of the Europa Conference League or into the knockouts uh, but this card for a lot of people is basically just a free 84 rated fodder card uh, it does it's not very hard to do you have to play 10 matches in squad battles score a couple and assist a couple uh, and you get this card but a lot of people have just already mentioned that they're using this for SBC fodder for a crazy SBC that we had and we'll talk about that as well but we also had a pretty actual good value objective the knockout Kings Basically, it's another one of these win four objectives in the foot friendly mode, supreme scores, and you get yourself a 50k pack untradeable. So that is a very nice objective uh, if you want to go and grind a 50k pack, maybe at the beginning of the week, once you're done with weekend league or whenever the case. I mean, to be honest, I still think that we're going to get a couple more cards in packs on Sunday as a, uh, what, what would we call that, like the mini release? Uh, so if I'm probably not going to open my packs until then, uh, just in case, and I won't be able to grind this until then anyway. Uh, so we'll save that until then. But objectives are a bit of an L, except for uh, the pack objective. But SBCs were a massive W. This Bernardo Silva SBC right here is a big, big W. And so many people are doing this. But this SBC moved the market in so many different ways. The first thing was they actually required road to the knockout players as a requirement in the SBC. So we saw that added last night. We looked at the Footwatch code. I didn't think much of it, but now it makes it two weeks in a row, two promos in a row where they have required the actual promo card that is currently out, a road to the knockout for this week and a once to watch for two weeks ago. They have required these promo cards in SBCs that come out during the second week, which is kind of crazy, right? So we've got all of the basically quote unquote discard road to the knockout players have risen up because this SBC is incredible value and it's got a lot of hype, but they actually required road to knockout players, which is pretty insane. Uh, this Bernardo Silva SBC 
fantastic value, right? It's almost guaranteed to at least get one upgrade, high, high work rates. He's going to feel incredible in game with that agility and balance. I know that he does not have finesse shot trait. He does not have a four-star weak foot, only has a three-star. Uh, but for a Premier League SBC, a lot of people who I think were using Bruno Fernandez are doing this Bernardo Silva SBC for the upgrade that he got. Uh, and that is why you're seeing a lot of market movements too. So fodder didn't really go up that much. This SBC is like 113,000 coins. We're going to take a look at it on Footbin. And you can see that it's got the kids all hyped. 3,000 upvotes on this Bernardo Silva. Again, people still have fodder in their club from doing the 75 plus player picks. Um, you know, people are very excited about this card. Really good links, right? The Portuguese Premier League links. You could link Bruno. You could link uh, Cancelo, of course, with all the Manchester City links that are out there as well. This is a big WSBC from EA Sports. And of course, we expect this to be upgraded as Manchester City could easily get uh, two more wins. And of course, we expect them to get out of the group. So this should become a 90 rated Bernardo Silva uh, by the basically a month and a month and two weeks from now, early December, this should be a 90 rated Bernardo Silva card, which is a dub. And I think he just fits the meta really well. Now, some people don't like it because they're like, well, I have Fakir. Um, and that's a fair point, right? Fakir does have really good stats, but I think this Bernardo is a really great card as well uh, that could last you for 100,000 coins. I mean, on the market, I think this card would be somewhere around like 200K. Uh, so that's why I think, again, if you look at it in that way, that this Bernardo is incredible value. Now, that's the good part about Bernardo. But for a lot of you guys that maybe had Bruno Fernandez or some of these other cards, a lot of cards that are basically substitutes for this Bruno, uh, for this Bernardo have dropped off big time. Bruno Fernandez from 65K. This is a combination of panic selling from that Bernardo SBC and also being a substitute, uh, well, sorry, a substitute good for that Bernardo SBC and also the pack supply of the 50K packs that dropped yesterday. A lot of golds that weren't the most incredibly meta cards that people wanted to go buy for their teams. Take a look at some of these gold cards. Dembele, 48K. Now, Kempembe still actually rose because he dropped a little bit when the packs came out down into the low 60s, but he has risen back to 66,000 coins. That's just because he is super meta. But take a look at the drop on a guy like Paul Pogba, man. I mean, absolutely nuts. Down from 90,000 coins, he has dropped 20K. He's down 22% on this market right now. It's crazy to see how this stuff has moved. It's it's purely down to the pack supply. It is purely down to that 50K pack supply. And again, that's what we talked about in yesterday's video. I didn't expect the drop to be this much. I really didn't expect it to be this much. Uh, but these gold cards are getting hammered and they're getting hammered even more. And again, a lot of it is because of these 50K packs. You know, these prices are probably gonna drop into the evening uh, Friday night and then into the early morning hours on, on Saturday as well, 550K packs with one 83 plus rated player guaranteed. And then you have your regular your, your regular promo pack that is out. Again, this is just, the, with the pack weight this year uh, and all this stuff, just the amount of supply that these bring to the game in 50K packs, we've been talking about it, right? We were worried whenever 50Ks come, whenever lightning rounds come, I mean, these are going to get destroyed. So the 50Ks are out for two days, 19 hours. They'll be out through the weekend. And then the 25K packs will reset today on Saturday at content time. Probably like they'll throw in either 15Ks, 12Ks, uh, or maybe 35s. We will have to see. So that this is really to blame for a lot of the market panic yesterday on the golds. Anything that is in packs got destroyed. It really did. The, in, the team of the week informs even foot heroes had a lot of supply yesterday. Now, that being said, since that Bernardo SBC was really hype, if you were looking to make coins yesterday, I know a lot of you guys bought cards, bought cards for your teams, and you got some big discounts, right? Um, a lot of these cards that were Premier League that were links to Bernardo or cards that people used, because it seems like people are, it seems like Premier League might be becoming uh, the hype league. Uh, we know we've had Syria and we have had La Liga um, become very hype in the past couple weeks with SBCs and players released and stuff. But a lot of Premier League links rose, especially ones that were out of packs. I bought two Robertsons right before the content drop for 170,000 coins. He is up to 215. I sold mine at 200. I mean, this guy is literally up 40,000 coins today in price. An insane 
rise in price on this Andrew Robertson, the best left back in the Prem at the moment. That's why he went uh, up so much today. Uh, but if you take a look at some other Premier League informs, you see like the inform Bernardo, or sorry, the inform Salah, the inform Gabriel Jesus are both items that um, rebounded very well. And that is literally just because of people going out and making Premier League links and buying teams that link up to that Bernardo Silva SBC. That's why the Bernardo Silva had so much hype yesterday on this game. Uh, and and, and that's, that's why you saw the market move so much. Now, since there was a lot of supply first hour with those 50Ks, um, I actually, we did, I didn't expect as much of a drop on the promo cards and a fluctuation like tradeability, if you will. If you remember for week one, like ESOC went down to 110K, then rose to 190. Well, since we had so much more supply today with the 50K packs being in the store, we actually saw some insane movements first hour to second hour on some of these brand new promo cards on the market. Now I bought Fred for 317,000 coins, sold him for 370 a couple minutes later. El Shirawi was 50K. I bought three of these at 50 to 52,000 coins, sold them at 64 in a quick flip moment. Uh, and, and those were huge dubs, right? Now, as we get into the Saturday morning timeframe, late night, Friday night, I'm recording this a bit earlier than normal. It is about 10 p.m. UK on Friday night. Uh, and you're going to be seeing this obviously in, in the morning, but we're starting to see these cards drop back off again, right? We're starting to see these cards drop back off. They are going to reach a low tonight. I don't know when that low is going to be, but we saw this last week too. The Friday night into Saturday morning trading opportunity with these cards is fantastic, right? The, this Frankie de Young card was 800 and about 30,000 coins for most of the day so far. The, he has been in packs. And right now he is down at 750. So he has been dropping um, in price. As you saw, Fred, who is a very, very popular card at this moment. And the reason why Fred is so hyped is because a lot of people have probably used Conte for the last couple of weeks and they haven't had any other alternatives. And here we have an alternative with Fred. 340,000 coins for this card at the moment. He's been to 370. He's been back down. Uh, this card tonight is going to be one that I think rises into the morning on, on Saturday. So from Friday night into Saturday morning, I do 100% expect this card to move in price because he's just so hyped. And a lot of people are trying him out and giving him a go in game uh, as we head into Saturday. So I think what you will see with a lot of these promo cards late Friday night into Saturday morning this morning UK time, or like when you're waking up, check, take a look at these cards, or maybe if you're up late UK, um, take a look at these cards and see how much they've dropped off. Just remember that the ones that rise the most are the ones that are the hyped ones, right? El Shirawi links to Tonali. That's why he rose when I flipped him earlier today. This Fred card rose because of, you know, GGMU hype. The card looks really good. They gave him like plus like nine physical or something. It's a really big boost on the card. De Young is going to be really rare. Jesus Navas, again, uh, just an upgraded item on the best card for a right back uh, in La Liga. Timo Werner was a million coins. We'll see how much he drops off to with a really nice boost on his item. Amavi is a like budget left back that's like probably the, we're going to call it the Mendy killer, five-star weak foot. I mean, Mendy's dropped off with supply, but I think people are also, instead of, you know, going Kempembe and then Ferland Mendy or, or Teo Hernandez, people are going to try this Amavi card, right? Because he's 30,000 coins and he looks pretty good and he's got a five-star weak foot. So I would keep an eye on some of these cards, specifically the ones that you saw rise the most yesterday, right? If we take a look at some of these graphs, if you find some cards that rose a lot on Friday, you can see here, 345 to 365, or just cards that you're seeing moving around a lot on the market as you watch their price, those are going to be the ones that'll rise up today on Saturday. So that's like for the early morning into the midday hours, UK time on Saturday. But as we get close to the content drop, this happened last week with Road to the Knockouts team number one. Marquinhos is flying, by the way, 746K. He is flying. Uh, but last week, what we saw was I did, I did some trades with Marquinhos last Saturday, a week ago, right before the content drop. Some of these cards that are really high tier. So like in this week's team, Werner, De Young, uh, potentially Fred, and Royce, what I would watch for is some sell-off. I would watch for some sell-off on these cards like an hour before the content drop on Saturday because what you're going to have is people are going to be worried about more pack supply. There's always the most pack supply for these cards on Fridays, right? Now, if the content on Saturday is kind of quiet, it's probably going to be another uh, Road to the Final uh, or Road to the Knockouts player SBC, I would imagine. 
um, I would imagine another SBC for our content today on Saturday. But if the content's not that good and there's just a little bit of pack supply, like let's say they add 15 packs or maybe 25K packs again to the store, what you would watch out for on some of these high tier cards, specifically like De Young, Werner, Royce, Fred, etc., is you would watch their prices in the couple hours leading up to the content drop. So let's say Werner goes from, let's say Friday night into Saturday morning, this Timo Werner card goes from 850K up to 925k right that's just i'm just shooting some numbers out here he go, he has a little into the morning rise overnight into the morning he goes up as people buy him for weekend league and try him out they sell him off before content because they're worried about supply you can buy in that dip sometimes because if the content's not good on saturday you'll see these cards shoot right back up and it'll be an opportunity to flip them or to buy them if you want to try them out so keep an eye on the de young on the the verner the fred the royce those higher tier cards uh, for today on this game. Now for gold cards and for other stuff that is in this game, heroes as well, you will might you might see a bit of a drop off late uh, tonight, Friday night into uh, the Saturday morning time frame as well, UK time. Um, but I would just be kind of careful with those icons are, are still up. Uh, some icons got supplied so much today that they haven't moved. Uh, like the Schweinsteiger mid uh, has been around like the high 400s, low 500s. He hasn't moved that much. Um, this Carlos Alberto is getting rare overnight. He was 700K earlier. This Balak was 770. I think he maybe is up to 800. So a small fluctuation uh, on those cards. But if, you, if you're looking to trade with stuff on the market right now, I would stick to the brand new promo cards because they, they're hyped, right? People are using them. Uh, and, and just wait and, and watch what you see on other Premier League out-of-pack specials. This Sonaldo was 570,000 coins and he got panic sold. I was very surprised to see this Inform Sun drop so much yesterday on the market. He went from... 570 down to 520 and now he's back up to 570 so ggs if you got it on this card that was a big w and we saw some nice rises again those premier league out of packs cards or the ones that did the best uh on friday because everybody is kind of switching over to some premier league links in their squads salah is basically 700k so that means that he is up as well uh and you're seeing a lot of those premier league links rise up in price now if you bought any road to the knockout from team one i want to talk about this for a quick second uh you're seeing a nice rise on these cards as well sonaldo back to 845 for this item tonali is up about 10k uh marquinhos is up like 50 60 000 coins and mukiele is up 10k rodrigo was 220 he's up to 240 sane is up of course your discard manafa and Teixeira have risen a lot because of their you know their uh requirement in that bernardo sbc uh you know for some of these cards I would probably, you know, as we usually think, the market kind of rises up from, you know, Friday into Saturday into Sunday. I wouldn't be in a hurry to sell these guys just yet. Um, but, I, you know, we're going to have another promo coming on Friday, uh, this coming Friday, a week from yesterday. So, you know, always be careful and be looking out with some of these cards to whereas you might be able to find like a peak point this weekend if it was purely an investment and it wasn't for somebody in your team that you want to have for a long time these guys have risen so nicely out of packs that i would keep an eye on those and make sure that uh you know you're, you're not holding on to them for too long so one other thing that i just mentioned but i want to note team two is available until wednesday right that's how they do it with these promos so when we come to the wednesday time frame we will be seeing these cards go out of packs and whatever cards come into packs on Sunday with a mini release, if they do one, are going to be super rare again, just like Robertson was from last week's team. So, you know, I mean, right now on this game, it's it's kind of fun, right? You're trying out a new Bernardo Silva, the weekend league, if you're playing. I know a lot of people have, are not playing weekend league this weekend, um, which I am a part of that group, but at least we have a little grindable objective with the knockout kings. That is nice to have for a 50k pack there i do expect upgrade packs to come out again maybe the 75 plus player pick but we'll talk about that as it comes but as it is today on saturday if you're trying to trade and make coins trading and making coins on a saturday it's a great time to do so icons those out of packs cards if you see panic before 6 p.m um, and the content is not good again i really think that today's content on saturday would really just be another road to the knockouts player sbc which again that you know depending on how hype it is could be good, could be lackluster. We will have to see. But I'm not expecting a huge day of content on Saturdays. Uh, it's just, it really has not been an insane 
the Saturdays in this game have not been that that insane lately. So that's kind of what I'm expecting. And again, it, it's a nice team, right? Nice cards to go out and try. That Bernardo is going to shake things up uh, this week. I think a lot of your, maybe some of your uh, La Liga cards that were inflated before, like Llorente, um, you know, Llorente is down with the pack supply, but some of these other La Liga cards that have been pushed up in price or La Liga heroes like the Morientes and the Mostavoy, we're definitely seeing some price correction on those. And some of your Premier League stuff might rise up a little bit, some of your out-of-pax cards. So we'll definitely be keeping a watch on that as we go throughout this weekend. But I'm happy with the promo team, man. I think the promo team is a W, some nice boosts. Uh, now, of course, we don't have another UCL match day for uh, two weeks or so, so it's going to take a bit. It's going to be a bit until we have another upgrade. But it is nice to see some fun cards in this game. Make sure to try them out if you want to, right? Have fun. Have fun with how, whatever that means to you in this game. Making coins, play these, play with these cards, uh, use players that you want to try out. Have some fun in the game this weekend, man. That is my advice to you boys. All right. Anyways, that's the video for today, boys. Let me know down in the comments what you think about this promo today. I think it's a dub uh, and a, a solid dub. Like, I would give it a 7.5 out of 10. The Bernardo SBC really lifted things up today. The Bernardo SBC really lifted things up today. Uh, if this was not a good value SBC, then the day would have been a little bit worse. But nice SBC, cool cards and packs. Objective against stinks, but it is what it is. You can't win them all. If you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you're new. It has been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.